Hey Youtubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and today we're doing something that I should probably keep up with more, and that is the yearly top 10. So this is my top 10 for 2017, which, you know, is a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit off because it's going to start from mid-December 2016 to mid-December 2017. So any toy that came out within that time period that I own is subject to be on the list if I feel it's worthy. And I've taken the time to write down my little list here. So we're going to try to get this going. So starting with number 10. We're actually going to go with one of the bigger ones, and that is the Playmates Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Voltron. Now, they do make, like, Toys R Us did release a set for this. And this is a really cool toy. I'm a big fan of Voltron, so had to get some versions of him on the list. Only reason he's so low is that his posability is still limited. He can't turn his head. And it seems that, as an update to my review, the uh, buttons that do his gimmick where they recognize the lions can wear off. So if I turn him on, you can see the lions are here, but... Hook, we're waiting on the yellow lion. You have to hold Whatever it in. You, say, you have to hold it in to uh, get it to read. So it's not perfect. It's a little bit of a shame, but. Blue lion, ready for action. Red lion, ready for battle. Green lion. This is still Let's awesome. Go. Yeah, let it go and it disengages the sound effect so yeah that's a bit of a bummer but it is what it is still a really cool set so <sighs> on to number nine and that is the Takara I uh, not the Takara Hasbro's Titans Return six shot and yes, I do have the uh, upgrades from Dr. Wu here. But he is a really nice figure. With or without the upgrades, they just make it a little better. I love the way they got the six changer gimmick perfect. And he is as G1 as G1 can be with updated joints. Just what we would want from a six shot. And he's a pretty cool toy. So I do dig him. And uh, now, on to number eight, which, uh, if you know me, you know this would be on the list somewhere. And that is the Takara Legends LGEX Black Convoy. And yeah, I like Scourge. I like Scourge in uh, R.I.D. This is a really good toy. This is a good version of him. It was supposed to be Octane, I know, but it fits him so well. And it's a good way to get him with the tanker truck without having to have a separate trailer. And yeah, you can even give him a wing pack. Can't complain about that. <laughs> so I like this one. You know, and I picked this one over G2 Laser Prime because he doesn't have to worry about stickers, and I like Scourge a little bit better than G2 Prime. <laughs> okay, moving right along with number seven, and this is actually a very recent one that, that I forgot to put here with me, so I had to cut to get 
it out of the other room. Sorry guys, uh, you probably didn't even notice the switch, but just in case, number seven is Takara's Legends Trigger Happy, who only beats out the Hasbro version because he has the Target Master. Either one is really nice. I love the character. You know, he's one of those crazy guys. So, yeah, this guy works for me. And he is a dream to transform. This is one of the better Transformers. There is only one Deluxe that really tops him. So, yeah, he is definitely high up on the list. Well, he's only at number 7, but he is high up in the year's Transformers. Which actually leads me to the best deluxe of Titan's Return, Top Spin. And I guess Twin Twist would tie with him if I had Twin Twist. I could never find him in the stores. So, yeah, Top Spin is number six. And he's alone there. At least till next year when Legends, Top Spin, and Twin Twist come out. But he is a really good toy. A dream to transform, has so many tricks to him that he is fun to just transform over and over again. And, you know, I have no attachment to the character, but the toy is that good. So, yeah, he's definitely worthy of number six. Number five might surprise you, not because he's on the list, but because he's number five. And that's this big guy right here, Trypticon. The City Former is awesome. I love it. He is huge, big, bulky. He did have some issues with his uh, leg joints that Hasbro apparently has addressed with later releases. Mine is fine, so I have no problems there. But I just love this guy. He is huge. He is awesome, and he just looks cool. So yeah, I had to put him on here. But yeah, you might be surprised that he's so low. But the City Former definitely is worthy of the list. And number four may surprise you even more because it's not really a toy, but it is still a great get for the year. And that is the Nintendo Switch. And this is an awesome game system. It's a handheld, it's a console system, all in one. Works great, plays great, has some awesome games for it. I only have maybe a, like three, but I love them all, so it's a good system. Real good to enjoy. Now, number three is a bit of a two for one, but since they did release a combined set, and I'm still waiting for that to come in, so, you know, but, yeah, we got God Jinrai, which is a combination of Legends Super Jinrai and God Bomber. Can't remember the exact numberings, but... That's okay. God Jinrai is a great pair of figures. And I'm only putting them together because they actually come in a box set together. Released like maybe a week ago. So, really cool. Glad they released the bundle. And I'm looking forward to getting that with Minerva and Cab. But even without those two, even without the chrome and the clear windows, this is an awesome toy. And I hear the the like the new version will actually correct the issue with the feet, so that would be the one to get. But if you got this guy, I'm sure you know this is really cool. Now on to number two, again, not exactly a toy, but 
it might count. The Super Nintendo Classic. <laughs> what can I say about this thing? It is awesome. 21 SNES games, including the never-before-released Star Fox 2. I haven't even had a chance to play all the games included, but it is awesome. The games I have played, played perfectly. I like the controllers on this thing. I like the fact that it actually uses the... If I can get it off. The classic controller port, so I could use... This, like the Wii U Classic controllers for it, or use its controllers for my Wii U Virtual Console games. <laughs> That's always a nice treat. But it is a nice little addition to any collector's shelf. You can even put it with uh, Genesis Megatron if you wanted to. <laughs> Although this does not transform into Optimus Prime, sorry. And before we get to number one, I wanted to get some honorable mentions in. Uh, first being Usagi Yojimbo, which is a great representation of the character Miyamoto Usagi. And we've been waiting for a good representation of this character for quite some time. Um, the 2000 series version was great looking but didn't have as much articulation the 80s like 90s version had really good like decent articulation but did not look like the character so much like he did but not the proper outfit so this is probably one of the better Usagi's released Another honorable mention, Convo Bat, because I just like this guy, the Beast Wars 2-pack kind of vibe, and, you know, I got Megatron, well, Megaligator, I got him a body made of a spare Call Smasher, so, yeah, nice to have those two, and the Apex accessory as well, so that's pretty cool. One more honorable mention, I know I'm delaying the inevitable here, but gotta mention Getaway. I mean, not because of the character himself, because it's okay. It's a nice little Master Force reference. I know he's called Breakaway, but you know what I mean. And he's pretty big in the comics right now, so he's cool for that. But the reason I like him is because... He is great custom fodder. Like, I made these two from getaways. You know, so I bought this guy three times over. I'm thinking about a fourth for Siren, you know. So he's definitely a worthy honorable mention. But, for the moment, you have all been waiting for. It's time for number one. And for this year, there really could be only one toy for me to have the number one spot. And that is something that I've wanted for a while. And, you know, they just decided to release it. I've been craving it all of last year. And when it came out, I was so happy. I put a tag. But a good chunk of my tax return into it. And that is none other than the Soul of Chagokin Voltron. Or Go Lion if you want to call him. But this is an awesome figure. Fully transformable. Lots of die cast in the right places. Like mostly in the legs. Like he's got a little up top but this guy will not topple over. Not easily. And I love it. I mean, the detail is immaculate. He has all the accessories he needs. Everything you need for the lions individually or the robot, he has. And I love this thing. 
This is an awesome, awesome figure. So yes, this is my number one pick. Soul of Togokin Voltron is the best release in 2017. Unfortunately, I had to choose between this guy and the Megazord, so I chose Voltron. That's my choice. You know, I have more attachment to Voltron than I did to Power Rangers. Although I really did like my Mighty Morphin, so maybe one day I'll try to shell out for that Daisujin. If I ever can. Because that's a big guy and he's a big expensive one. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll spare you the little splash screen at the end. I might put a splash screen at the end of this still, but uh, I'll spare you the uh, pre-recorded like, comment, subscribe by asking you to like, comment, subscribe right now. And, you know, so, and I'll see you in future videos. So, until next time, my friends, good night out there, whatever you are. <laughs>